made a coin today. Good evening, everybody. It's Paul Bain, the tea captain here from Just Tea. I'm here in Los Angeles, actually. So this isn't your normal weekly hashtag live from Kenya with the tea farmers. Um, they reached out to me this morning, Boaz and Jamila and the team there and said, we're not able to go live this week, so can you do it for us? And I said, absolutely, I'd love to. It's, uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. So we're doing live from LA this week. My wife, Sally, and myself, Sally's behind the camera. Uh, we are just at the tea festival here this week in Los Angeles, presenting uh, the wonderful Kenyan teas from our partners in Nandy Hills, and um, mostly highlighting their purple tea. And so I wanted to chat a little bit about that and connect with some of you guys. It's been a while since uh, I tuned in myself. Um, just tea from Vancouver, typically, but yeah, we're down here for this weekend. So feel free to ask any questions you might have during this uh, little video here. Uh, and if you're tuning in from Kenya, Jambo, um, Habariyako, it's probably your morning, Monday morning there. So uh, nice to see you guys. I hope the sun's shining there. And uh, yeah, my parents just got back from Kenya actually last month. Uh, my mom, Grace, and my father, Grayson, were both there visiting the tea farmers that we work with in Nanny Hills. Wonderful, wonderful hospitality as always um, there with, with all the farmers that we work with, especially the Kata family. Uh, they were really fortunate to spend uh, about a couple weeks on the ground there. So reconnecting with farmers like actually Boaz, who's on our Purple Rain tin, and his wife, Jamila who's over on the new purple chocolate. And they also got to see uh, Emmanuel. And then of course, a wonderful Christine. So these are some of the key partners that we've been working with over the past, oh, it's been six years now. Our first trip to Kenya was in 2012. So uh, my dad was uh, back there with my mom this year. It was actually my mom's first trip to Kenya. So it was really fun to be there her to be there uh, to connect with the people that we were with, have worked with for so long and that she's uh, got to know through um, our conversations through these videos and obviously through the packaging and through the website and social media um, we had a great time uh, it was wonderful connecting uh, with Mize, uh Mize Jacob who's been our Kenyan founding father and a really uh, wonderful wonderful man um, him and his wife Ruth have often shown my wife Sally and myself uh, just an incredible, they're our Kenyan parents. Um, they've uh, really shown us a lot of love over the years and we're so fortunate to have them uh, as partners in this fun tea journey together. Um, so I wanted to just connect with you guys a little bit, talk about Purple Tea, what we were doing this weekend in Los Angeles. We had a really fun time presenting um, our four Purple Tea varieties. Uh, the Purple Chocolate was the top seller again, so way to go Jamila. Uh, this is the um, purple tea with the organic cacao shell. Can you see that there? Is the lighting all right? And a little bit of rose petals that you can see. So incredible blend. We just launched it um, a couple months ago. It's really healthy, smooth and sweet that uh, those cacao shells are the pure form of chocolate. So you have, you don't have that, that sugar rush or like that kind of kids hot chocolate with the sweetener. It's just pure, it's natural, it's raw. So high in theobromine, which is good for your memory, really high in antioxidants from the purple tea and the cacao as well. Just a really delicious tea you can drink any time of the day. It's really low in caffeine. Uh, our purple rain, as always, is a classic bestseller. Those uh, really fruity kind of flavors. You get citrus from the lemongrass, apple, apple pieces, passion fruit, rose hip, purple tea. So a really bright and juicy blend. Um, great hot or ice definitely one of the top sellers at the show as well and the purple jasmine and the purple mint purple jasmine is still my personal favorite uh, really floral balanced you have the full jasmine blossoms which I'll show you here so it's really unique um, blend uh, because you get that that natural jasmine flavor whereas uh, quite a few jasmine teas have um, just a flavoring added this is the, the actual jasmine blossoms in there so you get that that authentic jasmine flavor from the tea and then lastly the purple mint uh, which is super refreshing again really nice hot or iced 
And this one you have the peppermint, spearmint, a little bit of rose petals, and then of course the purple tea as well. Uh, so really it's a different blends for different preferences. You, you can't really go wrong if you go for any of those. And um, yeah, we had a really fun time this weekend connecting with people, sharing the story of what we've been doing in Kenya over the past six years and the teas that they've been making. Uh, did a little bit of a talk on what, what Kenyan tea is all about and why purple tea is so special uh, in the fact that it's a new cultivar. It only grows in Kenya, more antioxidants than green tea, less than half the caffeine, and it grows from this incredible purple bush. So it's like that new purple superfood like blueberries, pomegranates, eggplant. They contain those super antioxidants called anthocyanins. So I really hope it's going to be something that puts Kenya on the map. They are known for their black tea as the largest exporter of tea in the world. Um, but that purple tea is just something super special uh, with a really incredible story and wonderful flavor. So if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, you're watching this video, so I hope you've tried it. But if you haven't, try one of the purple teas, connect with uh, the farmers that we work with um, through hashtag Just Tea Farmers or hashtag Live from Kenya every Sunday we go live. Uh, try to connect you guys back to the farmer who made that cup of tea possible, who plucked those tea leaves from the bush so you can know the full story of your tea. Um, I think that I'll have to have Cleo on one of these videos soon. Uh, Sally and my own, our little two-year-old. Uh, she's with her Nana and Papa back at home. So if you're watching Cleo, we love you lots and we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in guys.